Hi, it's Mark from Train Spark with a quick Learn Dash tip. And in this video, we're going to take a look at the Learn Dash licensing and management plugin, what it does, and whether or not you actually need it on your platform. So you may have noticed when you install Learn Dash LMS, it also installs this secondary plugin called Learn Dash licensing and management. And this is quite unusual. You don't see this with many plugins. And the question has been asked quite a lot, and quite rightly so, why do I need a second plugin outside of LearnDash that manages this functionality for licensing and management? Can that not just be handled within the plugin? And it's a valid question. You know, people don't want too many plugins to keep up to date and maintain. And generally speaking, you want to keep your systems plugins to as few a number as, as possible. But let's have a look at what happens if we do actually deactivate this plugin. Okay, so it wasn't quite as dramatic as that. Generally speaking, deactivating it won't actually affect the functionality of LearnDash itself that much. You know, you can still edit courses, edit course content. The courses will still function from a, a user perspective and everything like that. However, what I would say is LearnDash are quite keen that you keep this enabled. This nag message here will appear everywhere. Yeah, everywhere on the dashboard, you'll have this saying, please reactivate it. And generally speaking, it'll affect things like updates. I'm not sure whether your LearnDash updates, you know, if newer versions come out, whether or not those would work with this disabled. So. Yeah, it does affect things like the add-ons page. If you have this enabled, it's actually quite a sophisticated list of LearnDash add-ons that you can easily toggle on and off and activate and deactivate. So it does make this LearnDash add-ons page a lot more sophisticated. If, if I just activate it, I'll show you what the add-ons page starts to look like once it is activated. So you can see that we have a big list of all the different add-ons, both LearnDash and third party, and you can quite easily just toggle them, activate them, and see what you have activated quite easily from this page. And this is functionality that's brought in by that plugin. We would recommend that you keep this activated because that's what LearnDash want you to do. And granted, it's not ideal having additional plugins, but it runs quite quietly in the background. It doesn't make any real changes to the interface or anything like that. So you can just leave this here and not worry about it. If you have for any reason deleted that in the past, so you might have gone like this, you know, deactivate and delete and have this message permanently appearing across your site saying that the plugin is missing. One way to get that back is to go to your plugins and as you can see, it's disappeared here. But if you deactivate and then activate LearnDash, you'll find that this pops back in and is an active plugin once again. So I hope you find that useful. If you did, please give the video a like. And if you'd like to see more like this, please subscribe to the TrainSpark YouTube channel.